So, you may know that I have a dog. Her name is Fairy, she's one year old, and she's a very, very busy girl who loves to play. Now, over the year I've had her, I've bought her a ridiculous amount of toys, and while she still plays with pretty much all of them, I thought it would be fun to try making her some toys today. I was looking at Pinterest, and I saw a lot of really cool ideas, and I was like, oh my god, Fairy would love that, so I'm gonna make them today, and then we're gonna test them out with her and see how much she likes them. So the first toy, I'm afraid I kind of already made. This is the first toy. I crocheted it for her and basically why I wanted to make her this is because back in Christmas times I was crocheting a wreath and when I was crocheting it Fairy was just like playing with her toys doing whatever she does and then when I finished crocheting it like I finished sewing it up she just like looked so excited she wanted it so bad she was looking at me with her little puppy dog eyes and I was like no I need this for a crochet project I can't give you this one I'm sorry but she wanted to play with it so much so I said oh look I'll make you one in the future so I made her one and I'll leave the pattern for this if you're also a crocheter and want to make something like this for your dog. Now I crocheted it, it's not like indestructible, I fully expect her to destroy it. I sewed it together as well as I do but <laughs> it's not going to be immune to fairy like throwing it around everywhere and tearing it apart because that's how she likes to play with toys but if she does that, which she will, I'll know she enjoyed it if she doesn't do that. I might be a bit offended if she doesn't destroy this actually. So the rest of the things I haven't made yet and we're gonna make now, I found these all on Pinterest. Well I found them on Pinterest and they link to all kinds of different articles. Some of these articles kind of confuse me though because they have names like 33 dog toys you can make from things around your house and the display image is like some plastic pipes. I'm sure we have plastic pipes in the wall that's how plumbing works but like I don't have any plastic pipes just lying around my house unless you're doing some kind of renovations to your house or you're like a plumber why would you have these lying around your house they came up surprisingly often is this a thing that people have that I just don't know about but what I did see a lot of yes if you watch my last video I'm holding one of my worry pets they just feel really nice I'm like obsessed with holding them because they just feel so nice I'll put him down though we're doing important tasks. So a lot of the things in the articles required like fabric of old t-shirts or shirts or pants or whatever. So I looked through all my old t-shirts and this was like the only one that I like want to get rid of anyway. This t-shirt, I bought this a long time ago. I was gonna say like eight years ago. It probably wasn't that long ago but I bought it a while ago and it like never really fit properly and I always had to wear a singlet under it because it was white and I never enjoyed wearing it. So I'm like I need to finally repurpose this, give it a second life as a dog toy. So I'll be using the fabric for this for a few of the toys. Other supplies I have are this, some duct tape, some rope. Rope came up surprisingly often and I'm like who just has rope lying around the house and like, I asked my mum and she's like oh yeah we have some. But I mean this isn't a lot of rope and like the rope I kept seeing was like really thick ropes and I'm like do people just have ropes lying around their house? Are ropes and PVC pipes something normal people just have and I just don't have them? I don't know but yeah I have this rope to use as well. What else do I have? Oh this, this is really random. So it's a dog on a bag. So this this is just like a random bag that I got from a dog walk I went to two years ago. Yes, I went to this dog walk before I got fairy, before I had a dog because I was so in love with corgis that I just wanted to see them and I was just hoping that by going to a big dog walk there would be some corgis there. I did see corgis, I saw eight of them, it was a fabulous day. But at this dog event they were handing out these free bags that obviously to promote Hill Science Diet Veterinarian Recommended Food. Which is not what fairy has, she has to have this special diet from the vet. I know it says veterinarian recommended but anyway she's on a special diet. She does not have this. I don't know if this is a good dog food anyway. But they were giving out free bags and I have been holding on to this free bag since I went to that walk and I have never known what to do with it. Because it's kind of like, it's like a plastic bag. It's not a plastic bag. It's like fabric with like a plastic coating on it. And it's one of those things that's just kind of been floating around my room and every time I clean my room I don't know where to put it and I keep relocating it and it's just like always in my way and I don't want to just throw it away. But what I can do is repurpose it into some dog toys. Now honestly, I could give this to Fairy just as it is and she'd probably have a great time but I'm gonna try and cut it up and use this weird fabric as fabric and I'll use these straps for something. So that's all my supplies, let's get making. Oh I also have tennis balls! Okay got my tennis balls, I don't think I'll need all of these, I think I'll just need the one. And then I also forgot I wanted to do something with this, you'll see what I'm gonna do with it soon. But first of all I want to make this. So this involves cutting of the t-shirt. So what I'm gonna do, you'll probably get my instructions out before I start cutting. So number one, we cut the t-shirt like so. It feels so wrong to cut up a t-shirt. Like I'm never gonna wear it again and I don't want it, but like it just feels so wrong. I feel like I'm committing a crime. Crime is actually how bad I am at cutting in a straight line. I don't even know what I've done here. I just have a really long bit of fabric and I'm lost. Oh wait, no, I know what I'm doing. I just need to cut this in half down the middle and then we'll have 
have our two strips of fabric. Okay, so we now have our two bits of fabric. Yay. Okay, then you just make a big X, put the tennis ball in the middle. And what? How did they get from step two to three? Okay, so here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to wrap this around here. I'm going to tie this. Okay, so we have it like tied around the ball like so. Oh, this is already a great toy. She's going to love this. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. Oh my God, this is such a beautiful toy. Now I think they plaited each of the pieces of fabric. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I'll do that. I think it'll make it a bit more durable, make it last a little bit longer before she completely destroys it. So then I just cut each of the strands of fabric into three and I plaited them together just like you'd plait anything else together and I just tied them in a knot at the end. This one is finished. I can already see um, a bit of a problem spot in that you can see the tennis ball right there. So I feel like Fairy might just rip that straight off. But I don't know. We'll see how she goes. So the next one I'm going to make, also using this t-shirt, it's this little ring here. Basically, you just have a cut-off sleeve, you roll it up, and then you wrap another piece of fabric around it. And that's kind of your toy. Now, these are short sleeves. It's not like a long sleeve shirt, but I think it should still work. Because we just need like that, and then wrap some stuff around it, which I think I'm going to use these handles. How handy is that? Get it? Handles? Handy? I don't know where to cut. I'm nervous. I'm going to stop it up. I think as long as I don't cut the sleeve, I'll be fine. So I managed not to cut the sleeve quite easily, actually. I don't know what I was so worried about. But then when it came to tying fabric around the ring, I had a lot of trouble. So I tried to use the handles like I had planned, but they really weren't long enough. I tried to use two and tie them on and it kind of just didn't really work. So then I thought, I know, I'll cut some fabric from the bag and I'll tie that around. Except the problem was the fabric was so stiff, it wouldn't really go around easily and I couldn't tie it in a proper knot. So we just ended up looking like this. Um, 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 I don't even know what to say about this. I couldn't even tie the plastic fabric stuff properly. So I know she's going to destroy this in about two seconds. But like the shape's kind of exciting so it might give her a minute or two of excitement. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of hard to predict what toys dog's going to love. Like Fairy will find a sock of mine to play with it for hours and then like some actual toy I spent money on she'll just ignore. So who knows? Maybe this will be her favourite thing of the day. So I mentioned this earlier. Oh my god I just caught it. I literally can't catch her. I don't know how I did that. So this little purple ball here. My dad gave this to Fairy for Christmas and she absolutely loves it. She loves this. And then I saw this picture on Pinterest which was like someone had put like a whole lot of pieces of fabric inside this ball. So it's like a challenge for them to get it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my handy handles that weren't very handy but now they're handy. I'm going to chuck them in here. I might cut up a few more pieces of this and I'll put them in here. If I put them in so like a little bit is sticking out then it might be easier for her. Should I do that or should I just put it all in? I'll put it all in and I'll see how she goes. If she's struggling I'll help her out a bit. I'm also cutting up a bit more of this to add in there. Oh my gosh I can't even fit these in. I'll have to roll these up. Might be too much of a challenge. Okay last one in there and there we go. That was easy. She honestly might just treat it like a ball and not even try and get the things out. I don't know. We'll see. Okay so the final dog toy I'm gonna make today involves this car Roll. So you see, I saw this on Pinterest. It looks like a fishing rod, but it's kind of like one of those toys that you see like people play with for cats and you kind of like tease them and you like bounce up and down so they like can't reach it, but they're like playing with it and they're like excited and they're trying to grab it. I think that'll be a fun thing to do with Fairy. So I was just gonna duct tape some rope inside, then have the rope, oh my gosh, then have the rope hanging down and tie it to a toy. I don't know which toy yet. I didn't think that part through. Anyway, I'll just put the rope on first and then we can figure out the toy part. Okay, so I have my fishing roll bit done. Fishing roll, fishing pole. It is kind of like a fishing roll. I don't know what you call this. It's literally just this, got some tape inside with some rope tape inside and then this. And I need a toy to attach the end of it. I just had the best idea. I'm gonna tie this crochet thing to the end of this pole thing. I'm such a DIY genius. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be too heavy for the pole. It seems to be holding up. Okay, I've got all my DIY dog toys ready to go. I'm so excited to see what she thinks of them. So the first toy I gave Fairy was the tennis ball wrapped in shirt pieces. And I think it's safe to say from this footage that she had a pretty good time. She did seem very intent on getting the tennis ball out of the shirt. And when she finally freed it for a minute, I thought she was just going 
gonna abandon <laughs> this shirt completely. But she actually did go back to it and she has been playing with it a bit. She also very much enjoyed playing tug of war with this one. She always likes a good game of tug of war. All in all, that toy was a hit and he's still playing with it a few days later as I'm recording this voiceover. Okay, so the next toy I gave her was my attempt at a ring, the disaster one. And she actually really loved that too. I think it was just crazy enough that she like didn't know what was going on and she wanted to pull it apart because she could see things sticking out and things sticking out are very exciting to a young cork. Look how happy she is. She looks so excited to be playing with it. This is just me filming her smiling because she's so cute when she smiles. Look how happy she is. She kept at the ring thing for quite a while. I feel like because the weird fabric that was covered in plastic was like kind of hard so it was kind of like a different texture than she's used to so it was nice to chew on. She didn't actually manage to destroy that one like the fabric came unraveled a little bit but it's still intact now and she's still been playing with it. So all in all another successful toy for fairy. I don't know where this footage is or where it came from but beautiful. So then I gave her the purple ball and she kind of just treated it like a ball at first and then she realized hang on what's happening here. But then she kind of just lay there for a while like she wasn't sure what to do with it. She was just lying there <laughs> with the ball between her paws which was very cute but I thought I'd show her how to play with it and as soon as I pulled out the red handle bit she knew what to do. She was shaking it all around. She did so well. She got that red handle out quite quickly and then now that she knew what she was meant to do then she was determined to get the rest of the things out. Now she was playing with this for ages and then I just went on my phone for a few minutes and I wasn't actually watching her and I looked back and she had somehow taken the other red handle out of the ball so I actually don't know how she did that, don't know how she got it out but she did it. Good job fairy. So then it was time to test the weird fishing rod with a crochet toy on the end. At first she kind of went for the cardboard roll, she was trying to get that off me but then she realised how exciting the crochet ring was and was trying very hard to pull that away from me. Eventually she managed to get a really good hold on the crochet toy and she managed to actually pull the rope off the cardboard thing which wasn't that surprising because I know she's very strong but it was just so funny because she just kept running around the garden with it afterwards <laughs> and then she was just lying there in the grass with her paws on it and it was so cute she was so happy she also seemed to be trying to take the rope off the toy which maybe was more of like a fun challenge for her and later that afternoon I looked over and she was holding the rope in her mouth and like tossing the crocheted hoop around which was very cute and she seemed to be having a good time so after going to the effort to make her that I'm glad she really enjoyed it it was definitely her favorite of all the toys and if you have a dog if you know how to crochet I definitely recommend it because it was a real hit with her well thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching fairy play with all her toys I will see you again very soon bye